This is the first section of the graphs and networks chapter. And here we're going to be looking at modeling with graphs. So first, a few definitions. So the first thing is, what is a graph? Well, a graph is made up of points connected by lines. The points are called vertices or nodes. And the lines are called edges or arcs. Now, if a, a graph has numbers associated with an edge or an arc, then the graph is called a weighted graph or a network. And typically, the numbers associated with edges or arcs may represent time or distance. So here's an example of a graph. Uh, these red dots here represent the nodes. So I can see that this graph has one, two, three, four, five, six vertices or nodes. And the blue lines represent the edges. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven edges in this graph. Now, if I add uh, numbers to these edges, this now becomes a weighted graph or a network. And typically uh, what we would have on a graph is each one of these nodes might be num uh, not numbered. We put a letter on there so we can identify which points we're talking about. OK, so here we've got a graph shows the routes flown by an airline. So what we've got here are different towns and I guess the sort of edges here or arcs represent the flights between different towns. Now in part you, A, we need to describe why this is a graph. Well, it's a graph because I have vertices or nodes connected by edges or arcs. We'll just write that down. Um, it is a graph because uh, we have edges, um, not edges, vertices or nodes connected by uh, edges, or we could call them arcs. Okay, first part of part B, arcs, describe what is represented by the vertices. So these are the different towns that the um, airline flies to. So the towns uh, the airline flies to, the airline flies to, the second part of part B asks what is represented by the edges. So these are the flight routes between the towns. So the flight routes between towns. I suppose you could say it's actually basically showing which towns the plane um, flies to. That's probably a better answer. So the towns that the airline flies to, the towns or the routes of the airline between the towns, the routes of the airline between the towns. Right, let's um, have a look at part C. And part C is asked, describe two possible flight routes from Johannesburg to, uh, I think that's Liberville or Liberville. Right, let's highlight those two towns. So we have Johannesburg down here. So we want to get from Johannesburg to this town here. Now, presuming that I can go either way, uh, these are two way uh, flights. So I could go Johannesburg to Douala, I think it is, to Liberville. So I'll write that down. So that's that route there. OK, are there any other ways? Well, I could go up to Kinshasa and then Liberville that way, which is that route shown there. I suppose another way I could go would be Johannesburg, Kinshasa, Douala and then Liberville. That's another route I can take. I think they're the only routes we can take. So we'll just write that one down. OK, now the question just to ask for two, so we can pick any two of these, any two of these three routes we've got here. 
Okay, so this network, so network means that all of the edges here are weighted, or it could be called a weighted graph. So network tells us right there are numbers associated, and each one of those numbers represents the lengths of pipes running between water stand pipes on a campsite. The lengths on the edges are given in meters. Okay, part A, write down the length of the pipe connecting stand pipe B, stand pipe B is here, uh, to stand pipe D, which is there. So that's nice and easy. It's just 50 because we can go directly. So 50 meters. And then part B, write a list of the stand pipes that are directly connected to stand pipe E. OK, so stand pipe E is here. And the ones that are connected directly to it are going to be A, B and F. So we'll just write down A, B and F are connected directly to E. OK, this network or weighted graph shows the times taken in minutes by a car to travel along some sections of road. Calculate the minimum time. OK, so it's not just any time. The minimum time needed to travel from A to D and give the route taken. Now, we're just going to do this by inspection. So we're going to look at all the routes I can take from A to D and then actually um, look at the, uh, the shortest one. The one that gives me the lowest answer. Now, don't assume because it looks short on a diagram, it's the shortest route. Because look, this is 10, and that represents a longer time than this one. Yeah, so don't assume, oh, maybe direct routes are quicker or shorter looking routes are quicker. Um, we need to look at the numbers and do the calculations with the numbers. So let's have a look, first of all, at the possible routes. And once we've got the possible routes, what we'll do is we'll look at the total time taken for each of those routes. So let's start with this route here, A to E to D. So A, E, D. So A to E is 10. E to D is 5. So the total time is 15. That's one route. OK, another route that I could take would be A, E, B, C, D. So A to E, E to B, B to C, and C to D. Right, let's add those out. So A, E is 10, E, B is 2, B, C is 8, C, D is 1. So that gives a total time of 21. So these times, total times are in minutes. OK, let's see if we can find a, another route. So we haven't gone like this way yet. So we could go A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. And I think the last route we could take would be A, B, E, D. So I'll write that down. A, B, E, D, A, B, E, D. So let's work these out and see which one gives us the lowest answer. So at the moment, it's A, E, D is looking like the quickest. Right, so A, B is 5, B, C is 8, C, D is 1. OK, so that gives a total time of uh, 14 minutes. And then A, B, E, D will be 5 plus 2 plus 5 gives a total time of 12 minutes. Now, I can't see any other routes to take. Uh, this one then is the shortest, A, B, E, D, which is this one, A, B, E, D. Now, it may not look the shortest, but in terms of minutes, it's the shortest. So we'll just write down that the shortest route, or the shortest route in terms of time, is A, B, E, D. And it takes 12 minutes, 12 minutes. So we did that by inspection. 
So you should now be able to do exercise 2A on pages 31 to 32 and recap just of the definition of a graph, um, the names that we give to the points, the names that we give to the lines, and if we have numbers associated with the edges or arcs, we can call it a weighted graph or a network.